Okay. All right. So, yeah, here is Tolgar, Tolgar the Barbarian, um, who is basically stuck on the wrong side of the barricade. We have Emlyn Sin, Undead Warlock, Kyla Ward, Ranger Rogue, Rogue, Rogue Ranger. <laughs> and Valunius Conch. Um, so you guys have made your way through the Trixie turnstile um, without being cremated and are on one side. Tolgar, of course, is still back in the other chamber. Okay, so what you have now seen is what appears to be a huge arcane circle. The outer circle is covered in arcane glyphs. The inner circle is two pentagrams kind of crisscrossed atop each other. There seems to be some big demonic statuesque figure inside and a globe of glowing magical field is domed above the entire circle. Okay. Um, as are, if you are a um, viewer... The players do not see everything you see, and hopefully the players have done what they should have done and cancelled the stream so that they only have it, um... Oh. Yeah. Um... <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we, we can't see anything because we're not on that map. No, that's why I'm saying now, uh, before I yeah. move you oh, over yeah. to the map. Of course. Um, so yeah, they basically can see chat, but should not be able to see the actual stream. So assuming that they are all set up, now we'll go ahead and move them onto this map so they can see uh, partly what you see. Okay. Hmm. What do you wish to do? Uh... Um, is that made of stone? It looks like it possibly is. What are, what are those glyphs? On the bottom there. Y yes, uh, go. Do you not, can you not read them, Emily? You're the wizard. Yes, I am. So you the go. magical field that is kind of domed <laughs> over the entire circle, okay. you can see through it, but it's kind of opaque. So while you can see what's on the other side of it, everything is slightly blurry. Does does it extend all the way out to the, the far circle yes. there yeah okay so okay so i so basically if, I, if you imagine that the outermost red line has a glowing dome that kind of comes up and over the entire circle okay um all right similar so to that little spell that you like to employ yes theo uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna get close enough to where i can see the glyphs clearly um am i able to decipher them um you can give me an arcane knowledge check. Uh, as soon as you start getting closer, the big demonic statue thing turns and like flexes its upper arms and begins to crunch its hands. Okay, yeah. As soon as I see that, I'll I'll stop um, and uh, I'll see if I can decipher any of the glyphs here with arcane. All right. Yes. Let's go, baby. Ooh! Ooh! Right off the bat. Money. Christmas boy! <laughs> and I just noticed I've got the wrong. Yeah. Some of those up miracles here. on my life, Christmas boy. You work <laughs> it. <laughs> Christmas boy. Christmas boy. Okay. Christmas <laughs> boy. All right, there's your natural 20. Off to a flying start, Christmas boy. Um, <laughs> I just feel the spirit inside. <laughs> I will exercise the demons. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, in your studies, yes, you do recognize it. It is some kind of protective field. Um, the exact spell itself may not be... 100% understandable, but the concept is. 
This circle will prevent anything from getting in and anything from also getting out. Um, so it, it, it seems to be some kind of magical protection field. Um, but you're, you know, your gut pretty much tells you that while this is meant to stop us getting through, it is also going to keep that thing in there. All right, so I'll turn. Um, well, uh, good news, bad news. Uh, which do you want first? Why not just do it? Good the same? news! You hear from all uh, the way over there. Yes, all right, Tolga. The good news is um, that thing in there cannot get to us at the moment. Uh, bad news, of course, is we cannot progress further. Uh, and it looks like there's a door. But, oh, yes, as you can see, it is um, safely locked away behind this. Uh, I'm going to take a shot and say it's a wall of force. Uh, it's a skill that I have as well. So obviously a very powerful mage must have cast it. Um, so that is that we are sort of a, a bit at an impasse here, where if we do dispel, uh, that thing will have free reign and do with it with us as it pleases, uh, which I do not want to find out. So I'm, I'm going to step forward and look at the demonic creature. And okay. In Infernal, I'm going to say hello. All right. All that happens is it, it's, its eyebrows kind of get more kind of furious and it grimaces and you see it like... We are here on behalf of the devil, Zal Matsir Esh Alash. Have you heard of this? He doesn't seem to respond to your language. Um, the way he's kind of like periodically like <clears throat> cocking his head <laughs> makes you believe maybe he understands you, but either he can't speak or chooses not to. I'm going to turn back and be like, it's not working. Hmm. Let's say he's stuck on the other side. Yes, uh, he is stuck there as we are stuck out here. So again... <clears throat> So, so uh, Tolgar, why are they all doing that? You want to try anything? Move the door over. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, just move it. <laughs> Tolgar just probably teleport could. the door over. I will be trying to get through this thing with. Uh, I'll be. I'll hit it with my axe a few times and see how hard the uh, metal is on this thing or whatever. It's made out of stone. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's it's like a basically it's like a steel big steel bars that come down like a steel portcullis. Uh, I mean, it is incredibly yeah. it is incredibly sturdy and very, very solid. So after a few hits, you're like, I, uh, using I your axe, can't get through! Yeah, you, you, it, it, it's with, damaging with your axe way. far more than the axe <laughs> is damaging it. Okay. How would the wizard of this mansion get by this? That's my question. Well, that's the thing. Um, usually with uh, certain spells, you could uh, simply cast a uh, run-of-the-mill dispel magic spell. Uh, unfortunately, um, if it is Wall of Force, uh, you cannot simply do that. Um, so he would possibly have to dispel it himself. But then not get attacked and then re-erect it? Uh, yes, maybe he has some sort of um, control over the the demon here. There isn't uh, much of a clue around. I'm, I'm going to take a look at the walls. Uh, let me know if he's charging at me. <laughs> uh, scream if he's charging at you. Yeah, you'll hear the screams, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of start searching the walls for any kind of hint, because all the other rooms had a hint on the wall. Okay. No, um, I don't see one in here, but... Uh, well, you see, it. there. there's no visible plaques or anything like yeah, there yeah. was on the others. Um, that's for sure. Um, the other rooms actually had, like, a a plaque with information, but these definitely do not. Hmm. Uh, but, by all means, if you want to give me a perception check as you scour the walls, please do so. Where are you? Perception. Oh, wait, P. Perception. There we go. Yeah! Mm -hmm. There's lots of wall. Uh. You have found it. You have found a lot of wall. 
There are four of them on each side. Uh, there's one and there. a floor and a ceiling. Is this one here? Ooh, I'm in it. I guess I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes. Wall over here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Mm, that's a wall. <laughs> I mean, besides Tolgar not being with us, we do have a some ways to fight, right? Uh, yes. But, uh, do we really want to? No. I would not, uh, prefer it. Um, see, the, the option that is going through my head is somehow distracting it, getting through, and then trapping it once more. But, again, we have a very large friend that is uh, not with the rest of the group, uh, and we would be leaving him even further behind. Uh, which is something I do not want to do. Really, because my, think my thinking was, since uh, there's that turnstile over there, if we were to just uh, dispel it and leave, I don't think he'd fit quite through there. There's an awful lot in the way, and if he does come through, he's not going to trigger the thing quite right, is he? He might blast himself a little bit, we might be able to blast him a little bit from the other side. And Yes, I was thinking that was um, option two. Uh, but then, of course, if he does get th get through and Tolgar's not with us, we are trapped in a very small room with a very large thing. Uh, also, what if we dispel it, retreat, and he just decides to hang out in this room? And we're just at an impasse. Well, we can hit him from the other room through the bars, yeah. I mean, you just need to be able to see and stick your hand out, right? Well, then he'll probably go behind the wall behind me and just wait. Hmm. It would still give us a few hits in first. Don't want to fight him, just the three of us. We are not well, the team for that. You see, the problem again is uh, there is only one way. Um, Gore, would I be able to tell if it is, in fact, Wall of Force? Um, is there it is I not can... Wall of Force. You have the spell. Right. Um, and you absolutely would know for sure that that was what it was, um, but okay. it is not. Oh, it's not? Okay. Uh, but it, um, you would definitely assume that it is something akin to it. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'll just kind of, like, start studying a little bit more and say, well, the more I take a look at it, it might not be exactly Wall of Force, um, so it could possibly be dispelled with uh, a dispel magic, so that would at least... Make one notch in the right direction for us uh, of proceeding, but then again, of course, it it still remains if I do so. So right. I'm gonna approach and just in common say hello. Okay. Does he say anything or No, it just looks at you like grim it like just looks at you menacingly and grimaces and looks like it you just the way it's pacing inside of there like its feet are picking up and stamping, and it's moving like five feet to the left, five feet to the right. And it's like <sighs> it's you, like Darth Maul in Episode One. Pretty much, it, it, you can very much <laughs> tell it just wants to get loose to get at you. You know, if if we free you, why would you want to hurt us? We just helped you. Don't you just want to go out and kill a bunch of people? There's a town nearby. You can have wreak havoc there. Leave us alone. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> we free you. You kill a bunch of... There's even a church of earth people. Of earth people. Emlyn, um, crazy idea here. Yes. You, you said you are able to, um... Teleport. I, I don't know exactly what that spell is you do, but you can teleport, yes? Essentially? I could, well, I could... Yes, what are you getting at? Well, you bringing up the tower is actually an interesting... Um, are you so... Would you possibly be able to teleport the two of you back to town or somewhere similar? So That's that... it! New sub hype! Thank you very much! Oh. Gifted to you courtesy of Paul Stone. Oh, very, very oh, kind. Take your pants off, hit your height. The spirit of Christmas off, boy. So, the spirit of Christmas boy giveth. Oh. 
giveth unto all. Oh, um, Christmas boy, so, oh, Christmas so, boy. <laughs> so you want me to leave you here? Well, you could come back, obviously. I just mean get him to where he just appears somewhere else, to where maybe he might have oh. more things to devour instead of us. You want me to... You want to dispel this protective barrier, mm -hmm. have this thing approach me, uh -huh. and have me teleported away? Absolutely. I... <laughs> well, the problem is the spell doesn't quite work that way. Oh. The people have to be willing to travel with me. Well. Well, he could be. Maybe you could convince him to say, I'm going to take you to more things right. to destroy. <laughs> Couldn't you use that to get Tolgar in here? Yeah? <sighs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> I told someone to just teleport me! Please! It... <sighs> what? You, you, you're worried about spells and you need to rest to get the... We'll just take a meditation break. Uh, well, yes, considering I only have one left to use here. Now is not a time to think about spells, Emlyn. Well, the whole, the whole point of our hurry was essentially to deal with the ghost, yes? Yes, I... And making sure that you can get back within 24 hours from the time you were hit so that you can be restored. I mean, I... I it would that take... wasn't part of their thing. They told us that they could do it tomorrow. I can. I have one big burst of magical energy left to use. Does that make sense? Mm. So I'd have to physically get to use it on me, and then bring him in. But the the portcullis is down, as you see. So. So. And that's it. not to say that. This place allows for that magic. We haven't tested it. It could just fail. Um. Okay, question really quick. Um, if you had a magical spell to summon a celestial Tolgar to fight on your side, celestial? would you consider? Would you consider using that spell to summon a Tolgar to fight on your side? <sighs> Not to mention your own personal health benefits. So what are you suggesting I do? If you bring him in, it would probably be a help. Right, so to bring him in, I'd have to physically go to where he is and he'd be willing to come back over. I don't think it would work through the portcullis. And we don't really have a way Why to Why not? That. Can you just detect magic? And I just want to be over there, guys. <laughs> I'm getting lonely. I'm but then, so keep in mind if I do this, and it works, I will be that much less effective when we actually free this thing and it tries to kill us. Just use that thing you always do. And I guess I'm just used to being useless against stone, so that doesn't occur to me as much. My, so my short, my short sightedness there. So at that, is is this thing stone, or does it just look stone? Um... It's hard to tell. I mean, it looks kind of statuesque. Um, it doesn't really necessarily look stone. Oh. It's well, all what, one color. It doesn't necessarily look like flesh and blood, but... What, what about your... Uh, your blood arrows, Kyla? Are we sure this thing is demonic? <laughs> I'm uh, just gonna point at it the horns. <laughs> okay, if I was a sculptor making some sort of golem, I'd put horns on it too. Who wouldn't? Not me. I, I think, think I was that... so intent on breaking yours off, and you were dead. I think they're tacky. You, know that. you would. I do. <laughs> Your fashion sense is wearing a grey robe and being old. Yes, he's always in style. <laughs> he he's old. He is old as a fashion statement. It is never a faux pas in any situation. It's very... All the yeah. best things have horns. Yeah. <laughs> if I wore grey, I would have never had any clients. I'll just put that out there. <clears throat> um, so what? Are we just going to 
free the beast, watch it beat me up for a bit while you blow it up, because and you we, guys can't really take the hit. And if we are going to free it and do get into a, some sort of a, a fight with it, we definitely should try to have Tolga in here. Um, I'd feel much more comfortable, and our other survival will be much higher, I think. I don't know how long I'd last hand-to-hand -hand with it. Right, let me see. And I'm going to go up to it, and I'm just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it doesn't It doesn't seem to understand the concept of the game. Um, it hey, doesn't you? even up for a lizard. Ah, okay. So it's not something... Uh, well, yeah, no, I wouldn't last at all. I'm going to just turn to Thelonious. We can work this out. Look. <laughs> Obviously, the master of this house had a way through this thing. We just need to retrace our steps and think like a magician would, like a wizard or sorcerer. Yes, please do not. You know that. Yeah, I don't like have a that. wizard would. Well, I mean. If only you had a wizard. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, but oh, well, unless I mean, unless this was a gift from DeWint, you know, like maybe this was not a part of the wizard of this mansion's goal. See, that is more what I am thinking. Is every time we have gotten to the precipice of finding the item we are looking for, there has been something along these lines left for us, like a gift. Yes, sure, like a gift. And it always happens to have horns. I mean, the devil did say that he had control over more of his kind, and that he was almost controlled. Well, he tried to control him. I don't think anything's going to control our dark robot. Hmm. Perhaps I could put some blood on the arrows for this one. I'd rather not use it until we get to where he is. If he had Tolgar here, he'd probably slice through this thing like butter. Like butter! Alright, so, so... Go ahead. No, I just want to say, so your dimension door would not work to get Tolgar out of there? No? Well, if we can't raise the portcullis now, I'd have to dimension door to him. And then we'd have to wait a while to get him back. Oh, you, you can't, you you can't, can't just like, hold his hand. Yes, you can't reach through the bar and teleport him to the other side? That's, I don't honestly know. I don't, I mean, it... Could you? <laughs> DM question, could he? <laughs> I, 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 I refuse to answer that. He's never Aww. tried, therefore... I mean... Huh. What does the it's, spell say? It's it's one of those things like you and a willing creature can, uh, but it, it, like the, the suggestion is that you have to be on the same, like next to each other to well, activate it, right? It, I so mean, here's the thing: assuming the bars are just bars, assuming you can reach through and lay hands on Tolgar, in theory, yes, it would work. Assuming. That all things are just normal, mundane, and as you've already pointed out, you're not entirely sure whether this place has magics to stop you doing things like that. Well, we've used magic thus far, but, um, nothing has stifled us. What magic has So, I mean, in theory, as long as you can physically lay hands on Tolgar, um, you're both in your physic. What's the difference between laying hands side by side and laying yeah. hands front to back? Yeah, I used um, Mage Hand earlier, Satch. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah which is all like hand. low level spells, right? I mean, that's is, the thing. It is like, still magic. I do not consider a spell lower than another. Spells do. And <laughs> <laughs> spell levels for a reason. No, they <laughs> all have their uses. Oh, those spells wear khaki. They do the work. All right, so. <laughs> so, since I'm feeling the, the peer pressure. I'm going to go counterclockwise, which is the right way. Oh, is it? Yes. yes. 
sure. Absolutely. Are you sure you're the, facing it this yeah, way? You're the absolute like, if you're worst. facing it from the opposite side, <laughs> is that still counterclockwise? It's still counterclockwise. <laughs> oh my god, I hate with the passion, with your mind fuckery. Yes. Score. The bars oh. still go the same direction, oh so yes, it's the same. Damn it. So why would that change the mechanism? Let's do it opposite. <laughs> So yes. I'm gonna go through. It's mirrored. Let's do it the other way. Clockwise. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna say Tolgar, reach through the bars. All right. So you go this way, and yeah, you do not. You are not incinerated. Okay. So Tolgar is able to reach through the bars. So I'm gonna grab his hands. Okay. This doesn't work. And I'm gonna look. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna look through the bar so we won't have to do that whole clockwise counterclockwise thing. Dimension doors over to the third room. And fourth I'm dimensioning room, door to where Thelonious is. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so holding on to Tolgar, you want a dimension door to where yes. Theo is. All right. <coughs> uh, we can do that within 500 feet. Okay, amazingly. Congratulations, the use of magic was effective. And Tolgar is now <laughs> in the yeah! room with you! Woo! Welcome to room. Oh, wow, <laughs> what's this guy? Is that stone? I kind of like it. But it's not? I, I'm not sure. I can't... Maybe, maybe like a dense... <laughs> this reminds me of... Playing a game like World of Warcraft, when you find a potion and you put it in your inventory and you never want to use the potion because you always think there's a better time to use it, so you keep it and years and you later die. you have nothing but bags full of these same potions that you've never used because you're always <laughs> holding them for a better time to use them, which never happens. <laughs> the old DMA, you know, just do it now. Well, if we are going to fight this thing, I'm effectively useless now. I just have my basic magics. And I effectively can poke it with metal sticks. I'll be over here. <laughs> Ready Dip, to go. Right. Dip a few in blood. We'll see what's what with this if we are going to fight it. Oh, yes. We should have a test of that, shouldn't we, before depending on it. All right, Togar. Well, what do I do? Do I touch it? Do I... there is, is this the plan? Are we going to I'm take out my long it? sword? Is that, what, is that what is happening? I guess so. Well, we, we have Tolgar now. We might as well, right? I think uh, the odds are a little better now, yes. Um, would yeah. you rather just pull off a couple of Tolgar stones? Tolgar of the hill, people. I mean, maybe you can banish it, Thelonious? But I, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve, so. Do you have any? Let, me, let me add it. Well, all right. Come on. All right. Come Hold on. on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I. Ready to rage once it, you know. <clears throat> so you've got the demon inside walking around the inner arc, going. <sighs> And Talgar walking around the outer talk going. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds about uh, right. And Jimmy Buffett shows up in I the am... red corner, <laughs> weighing in at <laughs> a lot of weight. It's made of stone. I don't think that's. I don't think that's Jimmy Buffett who does that. But oh, that's okay. <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Doesn't Jimmy Buffett sing Margaritaville? I think Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I thought Jimmy Buffett was his name. Maybe it's not. I want him to be the announcer. It's totally not, but that's so funny to imagine it's him in a Hawaiian shirt and sandals. <laughs> uh, who the hell? So, if it's not Jimmy Buffett, who am I thinking no, it's, of? It's Buffer. Bruce Buffer. Buffer. Michael Buffer. Is it Michael? It's Bruce Buffer. Is it Bruce Buffer? I know there's a Michael Buffer. <laughs> you're so. You're so it's okay. We it's, got there. It's a dude. Some <laughs> dude that a... says stuff. Yeah, Bruce Buffer is the one who says, let's get ready to rumble, I believe. Uh, Michael Buffer, it is. I, I'm, is I, it? I'm looking at it right now on Googleation. Yep. 
Hammer Time said it's Michael, Michael and Buff, Bruce Buffer. Yeah, they both. Yeah, they both do it. Man, I think... also said it, but when Hammer Time says it, it's just like. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Um, <gasps> all right. So I guess I'm gonna cast the spell magic. On the shield. Ah, yo. Ah. Right. Okay, dispel magic. magic. Choose yeah. a creature, object, oh. or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or lower um, of the target ends for each spell fourth level or higher of the target. Make an ability check using your spell cast. DC is equal to 10 plus the spell level. You, sir, need a 16 or higher. Okay. Ooh, what, am I, what am I roll? What do I roll for that? I'm sorry. Uh, it's d20 plus your intelligence mod, right? Yep. That's. Okay, so d20 oh. plus three. <coughs> okay. Plus your spell casting ability, which is your uh, that's 16 or higher, and you succeed! Yeah. <laughs> you feed a demon! Okay. Yay. Um, <laughs> the outer glow, the, the dome goes whoom, and disappears. Uh. <laughs> Does he I... also just fall asleep because he's like a magic No, he, he does not. Uh, oh. No, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Uh, nope. Um... He stands there, looks around. And seems to get frustrated when he can't take another step. Still stuck, huh? Oh, the inner circle. Oh, shit. Oh. Can we get around, though? Get around it. If we just, yeah. Ooh, can we get around it? Gore? Is well, I mean, possible? he's going. Ob- the second you start moving around there, he moves to intercept you and block you. Oh, but like the the outer circle is not there anymore. Uh, well, the circle is still there on the ground. It just doesn't have a oh. glowing bubble over it. I'm gonna try going the other way that he's not blocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh. can can he block the door? Because Easily, like that, he yeah, is as wide little, as the but door. The, the inner circle is not touching the door, yeah, right? Yeah, so, the, oh, but the well, are... look how close it gets, though. Yeah, I know. Uh, he he say, absolutely can stand right yeah. here, and there's not enough room between him and the circle for it's a person to fit. There's one it's foot. Like, it's, it's like less, less than, than a foot. foot. <laughs> yeah, it's less than a foot. Damn it. Yeah. All right, so he moves to that position and kind of takes a wide-legged stance. Holding his arms out, he's like, ah, 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 looking at both of you as you try to move around him. Oh, that's no good. Um, Emlyn, try speaking to him again. Uh huh. Well, maybe the the, the the second barrier with it, he could hear you more clearly this time. Drop oh. a drop the drop the devil's name again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna approach, and as l- l- Loudly, I guess is the word, right? I'm just gonna say, in Infernal, we are friends of Zal Medsir Esh Halesh Halesh. I think it's Halish. Halish. It's Halish. A devil to the west. Okay. Um, he just glares at you with his squinty eyes. Are you dumb and incapable of speech? <laughs> yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Hey, brute! <laughs> oh, who are you calling brute? Yeah. Oh you my goodness! Either. All the insults, it's absolutely disgusting! No. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> so in Infernal and Common, I'm just gonna say, we want to free you to get past you. Clearly you don't give a crap what's behind that door. You can't even fit by, behind it. You're fat! <laughs> Yes. Oh, and now, now, now they're body wow, shaming. you're uh, so mean, Dolgar, Jesus. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Look, there's delectable humans you can kill in the town that we are underneath. So go kill all of them. I don't care. Seems like a good bargain. Maybe he's but... just misunderstood. Or you maybe he's bound and tasked to doing this. That's also a possibility. Yeah made a deal with someone. Looks like a crummy deal. Spell magic on him. We, we can make you a better deal. We are far more <laughs> awesome than anyone who's dealt with you before. Especially DeWince. DeWince, maybe? 
Does, uh, does the shadow ring say speak, print, and enter? Uh, not in a language that you will recognize, no. But it might. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you just spell the other one, Thelonious? Can of course can I can. You... Now, now that the uh, now that the first one's down, can the script around the bottom be read, or is there no extra script there, and it's just the? No, I mean it. It, it is a script, um, and Felonius has deciphered it as best he can. Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right. Which is the best anyone can, because I got a twenty, so it's not getting any better. Yeah, then I'm going to go back to my position of probably escaping into the other room because I can't do much here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want me to do it again? <sighs> Tilgar, yes. are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to rage up as soon as it goes down. <laughs> All right. Um... I'm just going to back up again. <laughs> so, so, question for you, Gore. Uh-huh. Um, after casting the spell in the last one, would I have... Because I had to roll um, for it, would I have sensed that in any way to where I, was, <coughs> maybe I should up the power on my next one? Um, I mean, you get a feeling of the amount of power of the magic <laughs> that you're trying to dispel. Because, okay. I mean, the mental taxation on you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's entirely up to you. You could choose, based off of what you had to do before, if you wanted to increase the power, you could do. If you want to burn a spell out slot higher. Yeah, I think I think I would, um, just because I just want to get this done. So I'm gonna cast a spell magic uh, again at fourth level this time. Okay. I don't know what that means for me, but I would Thelonious would for sure like all right and put a little more oomph in it. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, so if you're going to do Dispel Magic, um, mm-hmm. I don't know that it actually matters. It's the truth. Um, okay. Uh, if you, so if you do four or higher, it basically increases the minimum level of what you dispel, right? So, like, mm-hmm. instead of it for each spell of fourth level or higher, <coughs> like... Um, any spell of third level or lower automatically is, de- is is defeated, right? Okay. So if you increase it, um, then you automatically increase it, the base that... You see what I'm saying? So, I, so it wouldn't instead have mattered. Of, instead of destroying... Well, it would matter if it is a spell of fourth level or lower. I see. I see. It. Okay. Then you wouldn't have to roll. Okay. Well, maybe this one is, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I stand by it. All right. Okay. Um, DC is 15. Slightly less, actually. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Hey. Oh, right on the money! Okay, <laughs> the second circle goes down. Woo! We released another dude. <coughs> Yay, I did it again! And yet, once again, you see the thing go like... <sighs> it's a Christmas And then you see it take its left foot and like... Press, stamp down on the line and realize it actually can get past there. Shooting. And then, <laughs> as soon as it does that, you see a deep-seated, grinchy type. Mm. Go kill the people above. Let us <laughs> You know you want to. There's scores of them. They're delicious. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't want to do that. Um, <laughs> it, it, it has no interest in waiting to kill something. Shooting. There's something it can kill right now. Um, okay. Um, it's going to be so mean. I, I would say that this is probably not a terrible time to hurl some initiative dice. Ooh, that was pretty good. Nice, Tolgar. That's with a 19. Jeez. Find it. Olgar with a oh, 20. Oh my god! No, baby. Wow. Natural 20! Our wizard is going to win the, the 20 count. And that's going to be amazing. Alrighty. Another 20. Spam those 20s. Uh, it is clearly Thelonious's time to show his quality. Um, Everything's coming up conch. <laughs> Everything's coming up conches. 
Um, all right, let me roll for this thing. Sad. Oh, we actually all rolled pretty well. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's all right, as you are ready to spring into the action, you see this thing suddenly like and raise its shoulders, telegraphing its move as it looks like it's about to charge towards Tolgar. Thelonious, you are ready on your toes, ready to react first. What do you want to do? Yes, because I'm a spry young man. A spry 80-year-old! Uh, I am going to, uh, seeing that Tolgar is far enough away to it, I'm going to see if I can get a little damage off here. And thinking that it's stone or hopefully some sort of <coughs> inorganic material, um, I'm going to cast Shatter. At level okay. five. Ooh. So I'm going to really open up on this guy. You're blowing that load. Guns. I'm blowing it, baby. <laughs> um, and I don't have the macro for the extra dice, so I'm going to roll it and then add it really quick here. That's fine. So that's my cast spell there. And then an extra 2d8. Okay. 2d8 would, um, plus, I guess it's not plus anything, huh? Uh, no, it's just 2d8. Yep, 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 yep. I got to come in here. All right, okay. so that's 18 plus 9, which by my mathing is 27. Okay. All right, um, and well played, Mr. Wizard, because it is indeed susceptible to such things. So yeah. it has disadvantage on this save. Okay. Nice. Give us some hurt. Hurt the boy. Make him sad. Bury the boy. <laughs> And it is going to fail. Ooh, yeah. All right. <coughs> um, all right. So, yeah, 27 points. So, basically, you hear a loud crack of thunder as the spell reels out of his hands, striking the creature. It's like... And you see hairline cracks disseminate from the center of its chest all the way out, like a spider-veined pattern all across its chest. It glances down and looks at the damage and then uh, seems somewhat more pissed off and its eyes change from focusing on Tolgar to uh, Thelonious. Oh my Tolgar. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to scramble here. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> All, right. All right, Tolgar. My turn now. All right. I, I'm going to come over here. I'm stepping on that line. Does anything happen? No. Okay. I'm coming over here first, and then I am raging. So I am, uh, yeah. So make my move there. All right. And I will attack with my long sword, hoping, okay. not not sure how it's going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do it. Do it. It's got magic. It's pretty good. Oh. Just do oh. it. Hmm. Oh, oh, right. Uh, neither one yeah, that's not so hits bad. the creature. Oh, uh, basically, you slash at it for the oh, first man. one. It brings its arm up and catches the side of the blade. You thrust forward with the ah! second as it turns its torso and makes you miss. Satch, uh, what is Kyla going to do this turn? Um, so I've, I've, I've demon blood soaked a piercing arrow, okay. and I would like to shoot it. All right. But I would very much like to. So here's here's my weapon attack with the longbow of expenses. Okay, and, and uh, make it, sure you mark off a put a tally or a mark a one that you've used a dose of the gifted blood. I'm going to uh, do this for now because I don't have anywhere to put notes. Okay. That that's fine. You just put one of those for every time you use it for the rest of the yes. show. Yes. All right. Up. Uh, you hit. Nice. Okay. Um. The arrow seems to sink deep into the creature. Um, roll an extra 2d6 damage. Ooh. Ooh, that's, so that's plus 4d6 damage then. Um, basically, yeah. I also have my sneak The demon's blood that. will do an additional 2d6 to anything that is considered demonic. Ooh. Nice. So I'm going to put 2d6 plus and on top of that it basically effectively makes it a magical weapon against this thing so the resistances that might apply which i know you were worried about don't seem to Ooh. cool so you get seven so... plus 4d6 go yeah uh... well Ooh. that wasn't the greatest of rolls but you know what we'll take it 16 points 
That was really sad because it was on a five and then it smacked into it. It's like, nope. All right. As the arrow strikes the thing, you notice like a flash of red. And it almost seems like the arrow head itself. While the, the shaft of the arrow like breaks and hits the ground, the arrowhead almost like bores into the creature. Like you see it disappear down into it. Almost like it was self-propelled. Huh. All right, um, Emelina. Emelina, yay! I'm going to Eldritch Blast it twice. Okay. Uh, and probably miss twice. Because um, no. Not with those rolls, you're not. Yep, okay. Unfortunately, no. All right. Unfortunately, no. Tolgar. It is your turn now. It is again. No, it's to be. Pain. It's your turn to be beaten the shit oh. out of. Um. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you are enraged, right? Yes. Oh my All right, god! Yeah. Wails at you with the Ow. first of its massive Ooh. stone fists, which <gasps> hits solid. My shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and then it reels in uh, with the second. Oh my oh, god! Oh, my other shoulder. No. Oh, my it's ow, my one shoulder. Ow, my both shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with well, the first one, um, the first blow does thirteen. Um, have that because you're in range. Okay. Cool. The second, on the other hand, which is a mighty uppercut, oh. will be twenty-six. Have that. For 13. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Man. And then it rears back its massive forehead. No, oh, no. And tries to give you a Glaswegian kiss. Oh, We're yeah. just going to crit. Oh, 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 oh. No. This is so bad. Oh, Glabopple. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, okay. Well, we won't bother to roll in. <laughs> Makes life easy. Yeah. Um, all right. For oh. 25 points, oh. That's um, not bad. Make a, uh, you need to make a deck save. Make me do that. <laughs> no, sorry, not deck save. Uh, con save. On saves, that's better. That's better. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. Basically, its forehead hits your forehead with an incredible amount of force. And for a moment, your bell is truly rung. Like, boom! But your eyes quickly come into focus. Because let's face it, looking at Tolgar, that dude's forehead is rock solid as well. So, um, <laughs> a lesser person may have been stunned by such a blow, but you are not. Okay. Um, Melonius. Yeah. Uh, well, he's too close. So if I cast Shatter again, it would it would hit Tolgar then. Yes, DM. That's the sprite to take care, dude. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know if there was a way I could cast it. What are you trying uh, to cast? I'm just seeing if, if I cast Shatter on him again, it's a 10-foot radius. I just want to... Uh, you will hit Tolgar. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Um, no, no, it's fine. Just do it. Nope. <laughs> just do it. After seeing him take that hit, no. Uh, <coughs> I can do that. Um, so, honestly, I would probably try to help Tolgar in the situation, and I would try to... Uh, I'll cast Grease underneath the guy. Okay. Yeah. Try to... <laughs> no, Grease has got a radius as well, right? Yeah, but, I mean... Grease, I feel like I don't have to cast it on a person, right? I can cast it on a what place. What does it say? Huh? Uh, it's grease covers a ground in a ten-foot square center on a go. point so within range. Pick, you actually get to so pick I the ground pick. point, not the target. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I'm going to pick behind him. Okay. So it only will be under him. Excellent. Okay. Um, let me grab you some grease then. I like how it takes pork rinds. Yes, this spell, like just like. Grease. <laughs> Grease lightning! Or butter. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, and I will back up too, just as my movement wow. as well. Okay. All right, so with Grease, um, 10 foot square, set at a point within blah de blah. Uh, each creature standing in the air must make a deck save. I'm hoping a big stone giant is not very dexterous. That's my hope. <laughs> 
Well, it didn't do particularly awesome on the initiative. Um, so. And it's DC yeah, for no. you, Shatter unless it has Shatter changed. Is you are 15. I just read the spell description. Shatter future reference is a point in space, not not a target. Ah, well then you yeah. could. There you go. You okay, well. Next time. In All theory, right. you could do it. But in any case, um, okay. we're we're here now. Ah, uh, he passed. Okay. Oh. So he's able to stay stay on his feet against your greasiness. Um, Tolga. I gotta try this again, guys, because I didn't hit at all. So I will Use your anger. swing my longsword with the anger of one big barbarian. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe either. Maybe one of them. Uh, all right. Um, yep. The Let's see. The 22 one. is a hit. Solid blow <sighs> of 20. Uh, and it is a magical weapon, so that all completely applies. Nice. All right. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ouch, Tolgar. Huh? That headbutt, you know? All right. Um, after that, then, um, it I've is been speared by a rhino Kyla's turn. Stuck. It is my turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to. Uh, at this point, after seeing Tolgar get mashed like potatoes, um, I'm gonna dip two arrows and shoot twice. All right. Uh, okay. Using the potion. Ah, uh, well, if you're gonna dip two arrows, you're not moving, obviously, so you can use your move action to do. Okay. Um. I mean, if I grab two arrows, I just. Uh, yeah, I would say you could probably do that. Okay. That would work. Thank you, kind DM. Is this a disadvantage? Um. Uh, under our rules, yes, it would. Okay, no, okay. it would not, because he is actually an entire size larger. Okay. Uh, so, which means you have enough targets to shoot at to not have disadvantage. Normal roll. Cool. Yep. Sweet. So here's the first one. Um, that is no. not a hit. Hit no. with the next one. I'll try. Okay. No. Uh. Afraid not. Uh, so that's three doses of red bloody stuff. Oh, no. All right, Emlena. I'm going to try to hit again with the same thing. because I Eldritch got Blast. Else. Eldritch Blast. Uh, you hit it once for 13 okay. points. Ooh. All right, as the black tendrils fly from your hand and wrap around its feet, uh, it is its turn. Okay, Tolgar. Mm. Left fist. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Right fist. Why are you rolling so well? Because I hate you. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, that's two hits. Mm -hmm. And hits. at least it missed with a headbutt. You were ready for it this time. Whew. Thank God. <laughs> All right, this massive beast of a thing. Um, I'll just roll both at the same time. Okay. Makes life a little easier. A combined grand total of 28. So it's only 14 points. Only. As if I got lots of health left. You have. You have shitloads of health. You're a barbarian. <laughs> you, pi a you piss hit points. Day. Um, <laughs> all right, Thelonious. Okay, uh, knowing this newfound, I'm going to go, wait, I, I, can, I can do that. Isn't that I'm amazing gonna... how suddenly you know that because other people told you? <laughs> <laughs> I would have remembered. Yeah, you uh -huh. would. <laughs> it just takes a minute for, for old, old there. Um, so I'm going to cast Shatter uh, level four. Uh, and also, I'm going to cast it the same spot. Doesn't the creature have to make a dex save ending its turn in the uh, grease? Um, it oh, will, yes. Yeah. 
It indeed yeah. will. Um, oh, sorry, I I sorry, I'm being, I'm being a constable. I should added another. No, you are definitely being a rules lawyer, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm scared of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to win here. Uh, let me roll, and Aww. it passes. So it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. I got add two, and then two d8s here. There you go. So that's for the total damage. Okie dokie. And I should have um, actually rolled one more than the last one, but I forgot, so it's okay. All right. So that is the 3d8 is a 15 plus... Two higher levels. Uh, an additional 10. 25 if it fails. messaging and this is yeah. a con save which actually okay. i didn't take into account last time con or deck save is a con save um if you're doing the shatter is a con save oh, okay okay yes yes i'm sorry um, last time i actually did it as a deck save um but it would have still failed so it didn't matter yeah it was low and this time oh. it, it resists disadvantage yeah um so why low. did it not roll as disadvantage I thought I had the disadvantage macro. You, you typed it in there, right? Uh, okay. That's weird. I'll just roll it again normal. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. And we'll come take on. the lower of the two. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Um, either way, it's shrugging off. Um, All right. So it's only taken half of that. <laughs> okay. Um, Tolgar. Yeah. Um... I think this time's my this time's my time to do. This well. time's your time. Yeah. It it is. It I'm gonna is go that for time. like the middle of his belly where I see the cracks. <laughs> his belly. Oh, Jane. Oh my God, what's going wow, on? Wow, Jane. Oh no. Yeah, Tolgar, not so much. Um, all right. Should have just left me there. I know. <laughs> Kyla. Oh, no, you're, yeah, you're but then die. they would be the ones getting the shit beaten out of them, wouldn't they? So. Yeah. Well, once I've roll over they're coming come after you guys all right uh i mean <sighs> what's kyla what i mean you probably got more life than i have total so <laughs> okay oh, whoops yeah you probably still have more hit points than kyla does yeah from max yeah <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn is it? That is. Is it? Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It, it, it launched me oh. out of the game. So I just I thought like... you were super deep in thought there, dude. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was <laughs> really <laughs> thinking <laughs> about <laughs> what he wanted to do. <laughs> The oh, longest that, six no, second, no, sorry, the longest six seven that. round, ev six second oh, round man. ever. Let me think more about this six second round, guys. Let me really think about. It. Okay, so um, uh, no, I'm gonna zephyr, zephyr strike at it because at least I get force damage out of that. All right, um, you don't want to burn any more of your demon blood. No, and okay. I don't have a chance of hitting. I'd rather use something a little bit more replaceable. So. Do, 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 do it. Do better than Tolgar. That's all I ask. That's not hard. I want to put oh. a dunce cap on Do it! Oh, didn't throw it. Come on, sling the spell. Come on. <laughs> Super <laughs> tiny. <laughs> there for strike! Okay. okay. No, I did both. Okay. And then I make my attack. Whew. Good and luck. May the force be with you always. And also with me. Expensive bow! That's cool a hit. Damage. Okay. Uh, so you get five points. And then slash R one D eight force. Use All the right. Force. Okay. There it is. And then I'm shooting a virgin arrow at it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. You're gonna crit this one, dude. <laughs> virgin. Oh yeah. Well, uh, five for sure. Uh, oh, more hit. big damage. <laughs> <laughs> damage though. <laughs> Why are we... this is like the worst we've rolled since um. Ever. Beneath the Veil, episode four. <laughs> Speak for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you're noticing the thing is definitely covered in cracks. There are huge big chunks missing where blows have landed and arrows have nicked it. 
Um, but it is still very much functional. Emlyn. Uh, the only thing I could do. Uh. Hey. Uh, you hit it once. once with 11 points Hooray. of force. Nice. And that's enough, he says, and I smile, though. <laughs> Not I this time. Say that, but he had to sneeze. Not instead. this time. Um, <laughs> and it is once again the creature's turn. Um, Hello. We know what happens here. Hey, stop the it! The death of Tolgar Wolf. It sounds really enraged. It hurts. Uh, hey. Left hook Thank misses. You. Right hammer okay. fist also nice. misses. Hey. Hey. And then Statistics a crit. and odds. <laughs> Twenty. Come on, come on. Come Enraged on. headbutt. Come on. It's, oh. ah. it's, it's not a crit. <laughs> Four. Fifteen, and you need a Constitution save. Here I go. <laughs> Nervous laughter. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. And you struck that off Thank as well. God. Okay. I can I can just see you guys both like headbutting each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <Yeah>. Evening, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, and it makes a deck save because it finishes its turn in the slippery, slippery, and it <gasps> slips Yay! and falls Yay! crashing to the ground. Yes. All right, Thelonious Conch. Uh, the All creature's right. laying on the floor. Kiss it yeah. goodnight. Kiss it goodnight. <coughs> Which doesn't help you for ranged attacks as such, but... Yeah, that that was actually going to be my next question. Um, all right, I mean, I I hate to be a one-trick pony here, but this is the best thing I would do. So um, I'm going to cast Shatter again, um, level three, so one higher, uh, one level higher. All right. So I'll roll that and one more D eight coming up. Nice. Hey. Mark that bad boy off. Okay. And that will be a total of twenty if it fails its save. Yes. Which is a fail. Woo. So twenty the one dice. points. Nice. Hey. All right. Um, yep. Uh, it is definitely looking like somebody dropped Grandma's vase, and if you would so much as give it a crumple, it would probably just <laughs> explode in your hands. We need Kia. Tolgar. <laughs> um, okay. It is prone. Does that mean Ooh. advantage for me? Sure. Why not? Come on, Tolgi. It does. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do something. Oh, yes. I'm still rolling so low, though. Okay. But um, But those two are enough to hit. Ooh. All right. With the thing laying oh, on the ground, wow. Tolgar just rears back and smash, smash, and waylays into the thing. After the second blow, you notice it literally breaks in half from the shoulder all the way down across the stomach down to the hip, and it falls into two halves. It's dead. No longer functioning or moving. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast so Prestidigitation. I'm going to cast Prestidigitation and make it look like, the, or my illusion, okay, like, like there's blood, blood coming out. Blood, yeah. I need to see blood. <laughs> Once I see blood, I stop, I stop hitting yeah. it. All right. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to make it look like it's, it bleeds. Yeah. Because I know how this goes. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll just keep hitting it. Just keep smashing it. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> yes, the thing has been destroyed, and it looks Come like. Come on, guys, quick! Wait, 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 wait! wait, wait, wait. The <laughs> oh, uh, deck save. <laughs> and he's down. <laughs> Tolgar needs a deck save. Tolgar slips and falls. Hurry, Breaks. guys! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, he slips. He slips down, slides across the floor, and slams into the wall in a graceful heap on the other side. Don't you do that, Thelonious. You'll break a hip. Um, yeah, so... no, I won't survive. <laughs> um, so I'll snap my face and dispel the grease after All that. Right. And I'll what walk the... over to Tolgar. And, <laughs> Don't and enter like, the area. It's slippery. And 
try to help him. <laughs> the try blood. to help him up, even though it's obviously just all show the blood. more than anything. Totally you, you must have some sort of patience. No. What? You need to work on that. Well, let's go, quick. And I'll see if this thing opens. What is it? It's just a door. Well, let's take a short break before we do oh. that, shall we? All right, okay. So, um, with the huge demonic statue shattered at your feet, what you have in front of you is what seems to be a brass door frame with a iron portcullis in the center. All right. Well, I'm going to just touch it first. Okay, it feels incredibly cold. Like, unnaturally cold? Um, not sticking your tongue to a frosty <laughs> pole type cold. Um, yeah. but definitely as you put your hand on it, it's many degrees lower than the temperature anywhere else in this room, yes. Okay, I'll see if I can easily lift it up. All right, um, as you look at the ground, so as I said, it's got a brass frame around mm -hmm. it. The portcullis itself actually goes down in to the brass mm. frame. Like there's holes in the bottom of the frame that the spikes of the portcullis are into. Um, all right, so you want to like grab hold of the lowest run and try to lift it up, huh? No, if that's the case, maybe push down if it's going down into the ground. You said? No, what I'm saying is there's like, instead oh. of the portcullis resting on the bottom, they actually sink into holes you following me okay same at the top too um the top appears to be like a long strip all the way across so it looks like it is designed to go up okay yeah i'll see what happens if i try to use any force to all right so you're gonna buckle down and try to lift it give me a strength check tolgar yes Sir. Come, Come, mighty on, barbarian, guy. see if you have the strength that you think you have. I am no longer enraged, so it's just normal. 18. Um, that's a strength save. You need a strength check. Oh, wait, didn't I do that? No, you hit save. Hit save, that's right. It's the only button oh, to God. click. That's... <clears throat> that's the only button to click. I don't get it. We've always done straight saving throws with checks like that. Let's right. See. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You're all right. Yeah. No, you're, you're cool. It's okay. the same thing. Nope, that's fine. I was looking at the number. I was thinking this is not a saving throw as such. Oh, but, you know, it, it, it still calculates to be the same, so you're okay. All right. Um, no, it's not budging. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy. It feels like there's something just stopping it being lifted. It lifts up okay. maybe half an inch, like... Okay. And then... There's something blocking it. It's stuck. Uh, somebody, can you take a look up there? Um, yes, I'm going to walk over and see. He says it's stuck, so I'm going to look up at the top to see if something is stuck. Uh, just going <sighs> off of what he said. I mean, the bars <laughs> disappear through a narrow slit in the ceiling above. Um, maybe there's something up in there that's blocking it from going up. Who knows? Okay. Toga, I don't see anything stuck. Did you, did you lift hard enough? I'm going to turn to him slowly. What did you ask me? I said, did you lift it hard enough? Of course! Is there a door or, I mean, a door, a bell or handle or something? Um, Not that you can see, no. doesn't appear to be any visible it. handles. I'm going to humor it and try to lift it so that it's like, yeah, I know Toga definitely lifted hard enough. Why would you ever doubt Toga? Well, the thing All right, is, so yeah, you, you're going to grab hold of it and try to lift it. Um, <laughs> with a lot of... Uh, you can you can get it to move. Um, but yeah, clearly you're not lifting it. Talgar managed to get that half inch to go like a... Tsh, whereas you're like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just doesn't go up. <clears throat> just doesn't go up. Let's go home. <laughs> you just going to try once and go home? I want to try pushing or pulling on it and see if that does anything more. 
Uh, maybe maybe it, you just gotta it. push. Yeah, no. Um, it clearly is not designed to push a pull. And he will search like around. Maybe there's it. like a loose thing or something that we could fiddle with. Take a closer look here. Yeah, take a look at the bars. I'll back up. <laughs> like and and the edge of the door, knowing the way the door worked the first time. Oh, good All idea. Right. So who's doing what? I'm taking a good look around. So you're Ooh. searching. What are you? What specifically are you searching? Kind of like around the door, the door itself, like for like things okay. that might be off or out of the balance. brass part. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and go ahead and hurl thy dice to give me a perception check. Okay. No. Okay. Close. Um. So Kyla examines the door very, very closely, checks the frame, checks the door itself, and looks back and shrugs. Doesn't see anything, or can't see anything that really would lead you to believe that there is a trick to opening this door on the door. Maybe yeah. something on the floor? What if we look through it. What do we see when we look through it to the other side? Oh, you want to see what you... Actually, pay attention. I really should have probably told you. What you can see on the other side, anyway. What the heck is that? <laughs> a portal. Uh, from your, <laughs> from the angles that you can probably get to, you can probably see about that much. Mm -hmm. It's a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice in there. What's that green thing? A chair. Um, <laughs> this thing. The big strange yeah, thing green. right here <laughs> okay so it looks like some kind of pillar that's got like circles that spiral up like made of some kind of lime green stone um there are three large i would call them pipes if it wasn't for the fact that they look like they're made of stone that come out of the side and radiating from it, like almost like a glowing door, is some kind of blue crackling energy. Oh, jeez. What do you guys make of that? Um, would I be able to kind of tell what that is, Gore? Hold on. I think you can probably see more than that from... If you're here, you can probably see about that much more. Oh. You were in this corner looking across, you could probably see that much. Yeah, okay. Um uh, it looks like possibly some sort of a teleportation device maybe like a gateway opening up something possibly straight to the wind. Uh, or straight to somewhere we don't want to go, but possibly yes. And then what's what's this pit of brown mud or something <laughs> or is it a table i don't know uh this thing here it looks to be some kind of like almost like a dark black obsidian circle on the floor um with what looks like kind of a, a dirty sand in the middle cool uh Maybe we should all try lifting this together? Together! Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, Felonius, uh, if you don't mind, I think I might have a little bit up on you on this. Yes, I think this, uh, I will stand back and, um, for moral support. Okay, though, while, while Tolgar and I try to lift, look at the bottom of the hole, see if you see anything that would be why it catches. Oh, right. Uh, what is your strength bonus? Um, zero? Maybe you don't have a plus at all? Okay. No. Maybe maybe you should do that, Emlyn. Mean, I'll help Tolga lift. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna not lift the part colors with Tolga. Okay. So I've, got a, I've got a plus three there. <laughs> there we go. You got a plus three strength? Yeah, no, that was, that Holy was shit, you're a, just, you're a badass. Okay, so basically, if you're doing you're doing an assist action is what you're doing then. 
And while that's happening, I'm going to get on my hands and knees and look at the the holes, basically, that the bars are set in. Right. See if I notice something that might catch or listen for a sound or something that might prevent the bars from going up. Okie dokie. Like individual bars All right. So um, you need to decide who is going to roll. Either Tolgar. Definitely me. Uh, so yeah, Tolgar, you would do it with yeah. assisting, which means you get advantage on the dice roll. Ooh. Deal. Come on. <gasps> 26. Oh, wow, <laughs> okay. All right. Thank God. God. Okay. So as Tolgar basically begins to. And you can see the veins puffing in his neck. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when someone spots you when you're right? like doing like bench presses. Yeah, just and t- and, <laughs> and Kyla is making all kinds of strange grunting sounds. And the two of them, prize and prize. And Emlyn, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's see if I can hear you mechanism or anything by the holes that got caught. Okay, up stuck. above you can hear a very faint like ding 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 ding. Ding, 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 oh, ding. like something's oh, like under stress like metal under stress and suddenly all of a sudden you hear a ping, and you see like little bits of metal fall down through the holes where the grates is and showers down on top of Emlyn and Kyla and the grate goes <laughs> up into the air as if there was obviously something like going across some sort of mechanism stopping it from listing but with the sheer force and effort from the mighty Tolgar and the Amazon woman strength of Kyla, they busted through it. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so now they've like they've got it all the way up in the air, and you can actually move through it at the bottom. How about those hips? <laughs> I like it. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna move through. <laughs> I just uh, screwed myself. <laughs> Uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so you letting the great go to walk through? Is that what you just did? No. Oh, it would be holding it up as we walk through. Well, that, no, that's what tokens. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, before everyone just moves their tokens, tell me okay. who's doing what. Um, put yourselves back. <laughs> Everybody just effortlessly, oh, we're through now. No, <laughs> get back. Um, so right now, Tolgar and Kyla are holding this thing okay. up. So at that oh, point, said, what are we doing? Uh, I says go. Rush. Yeah. He says go. I'll rush through. Same. Yeah. And now we go through. So hold on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> so who, who went through first, and did anybody let go of the grate before nope. that person oh. went through? Tolgar's no. holding on to the grate until we're and all Kyla. through. That's and, what I'm trying to ascertain. And then yes. we're we're gonna get through, and then they're gonna release on the other side, right? Like, okay, can, that's what I'm fall. trying to figure out. Because <laughs> yeah, if Tolgar just suddenly lets the grate go and goes right. the weight of this thing, it's gonna come crashing down behind him, and it's gonna yeah. basically like not be passable for you guys. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get to. <laughs> 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 All most, right. Most logical question, okay. So the yeah. chamber itself <laughs> appears to be um, on the right hand side. You can see all kinds of tables with paraphernalia. There's bookshelves to the both sides of the room. As I said, a large um, circular obsidian ring that has like a dark colored sand in the center. To the far left hand side is a smaller table which is sitting upon a rug and three more comfortable chairs and this strange crackling ominous green let's call it a portal because that's what you've named it initially um that is just kind of periodically you can just see like lines of blue energy through it almost like some kind of tesla Thelonious, i think we are on and i'm just gonna casually walk to these tables okay and start investigating gathering evidence looking at the documents one over here. Try to decipher what the hell everything is in this room. Okay. Based on what um, what's to be read. Honestly, it is all manner of phylactery, um, 
crude scientific devices. This is clearly some kind of wizard's laboratory. Um, the tables could be used to create various different potions and stuff like that. There's lots of different vials that you could pour things into this and it will float into this chamber and mix it and then slowly it could be heated here by a flame and then it would drip down and, and purify here and all kinds of manners of things. Um, I mean, it's not like there's any big diagram set up to say this is how all this works. But clearly, this is the sort of place that a learned scholar could perfect and practice his arts. Um, Thelonious, you have seen something very much similar to this sort of setup in your previous master's laboratory. All right. Um, do I see anything just, I mean, by first glance of anything that looks remotely valuable? Uh, technically, it's all valuable. I mean, this sort of stuff is not cheap. Um, but the value of it, yes, is expensive to buy, but it's not something that you can really resell to anybody other than somebody like yourself. Right. Um, without anything really catching my eye, there was something that did catch my eye as I walked to the other side, and that was this chest over here on the side <laughs> of the room. Okay, the um, small so just, I just kind of walk into the table and like, bah, bah, and I quickly run, not run, but, you know, quickly walk. Uh, yeah, you over. Hobble. Yeah, with my cane, uh, okay. over to the table to like, take a look at the chest on the table here. All right, um, it's a chest that is no more than about a f probably about a foot wide, um, maybe a f uh, about a foot wide, about three quarters of a foot tall, half a foot thick, um, just like a typical little chest. Um, a single lock that is flipped down over a catch, and a small silver padlock. Okay. Um, I'm gonna back up from it and say, uh, 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 Kyla, would you possibly be able to, uh, use your, your expertise over here? Um, what kind of expertise would that be? Well, there, there is a chest with a lock on it, so I assume that you are interested? Um, look for a key, I suppose? Oh, I, I can help that. you look for a key. Um, yes, help me look for a key, please. Okay, um, but... Don't you find it strange, this giant uh, mud pit in the middle of the room? That's is that, what I'm looking is at. Like a, is that a... Okay, on closer inspection, it is definitely grainy. Right past... It's definitely dry and grainy like sand. It's not like okay, flowing I mud. Grave. I heard gravy. <laughs> it's going to be very confusing. Is there anything, any movement at all coming from it if I stare at it for a long time? <laughs> um, Give me a wisdom save. Wisdom if save. If you're gonna stare at it for a long time. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. This is gonna be bad. Come on, Togar yeah. the Wise. <gasps> Twenty. Oh! All right. Okay. You just glare at it and glare at it and glare at it. Okay, he's glaring at it. Let's. So, what's everybody else doing? Because he stipulated he's staring at it for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what's everybody <laughs> else doing? What's Togar just? <laughs> yeah, it's all like. <laughs> Greg! What? The what? Um, Thank you, Greg Pope Fan509! Thank yeah. you for the resub, my friend! Thank oh, actually, uh, four months in a row for you, my buddy. Please take your pants off and hit your hype. Um, um, I'll be looking for a key. Doctor, that baby of yours coming up. <laughs> Alright, um, so it's a big room. Lots of things to search through, so, uh... Go ahead, Snugs. Give me a perception check as Thelonious searches high and low for a key that would fit the small silver lock. Go for it. Perception, okay. Perception. All right. Um, so Thelonious is scouring, looking under rugs, checking inside of books, under tables, under chair cushions. Um, what is Kyla doing during this time? I'm going to look at the chest and ascertain as to how it's locked and what kind I, of... Uh, it it looks like uh, it has simple hinges on the back. It would appear mm -hmm. that um, it has a single latch with a loophole that there is a padlock locked through. The padlock is a small silver padlock. Remove the padlock. You should be able to lift the latch and pop the lid open. Um, 
I'm going to grab the chest and walk over to the tool station and look for any kind of very narrow device with which I might be able to pop the pins of the hinges out of. I. <laughs> uh, you also can give me a perception check then. Because I don't, I don't think the key's in here, but uh, <laughs> there's probably a solution. Okay, Emlyn, what are you doing? I'm going to be spending this long time of Tolgar staring at the sand pit <laughs> to basically look at these books and go through each of them in turn to see if there's anything of value or direction from them, or if okay. they're just like romance novels or whatever, you know? Louis L'Amour. The Argonian <laughs> male tale, right? Right, okay. Um, so... Over a period of time, as you all do these things, um, Kyla, you find nothing that would probably work as well as a, of a, as a sturdy dagger might. Um, Thelonious, there is no sign of any such key that looks like it might fit here. Emlyn, um, you find numerous books on various different things about thaumaturgy and the academic crafts of magic and stuff like that. Not spell books, but more practical study books. Talgar... As dense as you are, any normal person staring at the sand for that long might be fooled into <laughs> feeling like it might have possibly moved as he visualizes strange patterns and things. Nah, not you. Aww. It's sand. It's dark brown Aww, sand. Like 20. So um, nothing bad happens. A very large cat would enjoy this. Um, it would be an excellent litter box for something maybe the size of a Bengal tiger. Wow. Um, mm. But beyond that, it's brown sand to Tolgar. Okay, um, so I'm going to say probably that's a good 30 minutes spent. Um, based on the time that you've already spent down here and stuff like that, clock is ticking. And uh, you only have 13 hours to solve my labyrinth. Or your baby brother... Becomes mine forever. Uh, no, actually, um, I killed him. <laughs> you have a period of time, but eventually, after a total time frame of twenty-four hours, there is no restoration for your age. So um, you have to get back to her within a twenty-four hour time period. And hey. what oh. <coughs> time is it now? Well, we got here early um, in the morning. So it happened. This all you got aged around probably. Hypothetically, around 10 p.m. for you guys' logical understanding. You left there, um, went to the priestess, you spent the night there, you woke up the following morning, um, you had breakfast, you traipsed all the way up here and went in, so it's probably early afternoon. Of course, we have no idea that that's a thing because we were told they could do it any time afterwards. So no, no, wouldn't... she said that she could do it. Uh, she could basically do it tomorrow, but you'd yeah, have to be she back. Mm -hmm. She said she could and, do it tomorrow, could... and you'd have to be back in time. You would have to be back tomorrow. But she also said that she could only do it to one of you. Yeah. So there's no perceived time of that way. <coughs> you have to be there tomorrow so Kyla wouldn't know so yeah I mean she was very specific about 24 hours from the time that it happened so okay. you know basically if it gets to night time and you haven't gone back you're running the risk of not being able to be oh. so I, I would go to this other shelf and do the same okay if it's more the same uh, then I would pretty, search it pretty too. much yeah is there like a, just something of not much value on this table I'm looking at here Gore um, there is like, a small, uh, there's like a small bowl, um, that seems to have like a bluish powder in it, and there's a candle. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the candle. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna walk over to the thing here. Alright. Uh, and I'm just gonna look at the candle and just toss it into the thing. Alright, it hits the thing, holds there for about a second and a half, like, whoops, and then vanishes on the other side. Ooh, where's the okay. bird? Where's easy, the bird? Easy to Kyle, the bird. Easy. <laughs> the bird. <laughs> so did it? I mean, it didn't look like it got damaged in any way. It almost, it almost did look like it got 
moved quickly or just vanished, I guess. Like it didn't like explode. <coughs> Um, like the Willy it seemed to anything. just kind of like <laughs> and get sucked in. Okay. Let's go. Well, Evie Tonga, we don't. Uh, I believe, do believe my first uh, impulse of it being of some sort of a, of a gateway could possibly be true. Um, again, we do not know where it goes. Well, how do you suggest not going this way we get out of here? Um. Door. Uh, is that a sewer grate? No, it's a bucket. <laughs> it's a bucket. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, that was that would have been good. Yeah, you can see that there are actually several buckets and containers like laying underneath some of the tables, trays, buckets, mm-hmm. bowls, various different containers for various different things. So I guess there's that thing there and there's this thing here, neither of which have been answered for. But I'm going to ha- go take so- I'm going to go scoop some dirt. And okay. then throw it. You want to like reach it. your hand into the sand and pick it up? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So you have a handful of brown sand? I uh, throw it. <laughs> Ball it up and throw it through the portal. And it hits it like a shotgun blast, like, and it goes and disappears through. <laughs> Someone's on the other side, like a candle and dirt. <laughs> mm, this is interesting. <laughs> Where did this come from? Please, Lord, a million gold pieces. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go through. Let's go. Uh, I'm still holding the chest, by the way. <laughs> okay. I mean, I are you picking up the? Li- you're taking the little chest with you? No, I've, I've had it this time. I was just looking for a way to like break into it, basically. But okay. Didn't find I'm, anything, I'm, so. uh, I'm gonna look in this empty chest, I guess. Okay, that is what it appears to be—a large, open, empty chest. Uh, but this is much it. like a big trunk type chest that you could put a lot of things in. Okay, I'm gonna just slide it a little bit to see if there's anything underneath it. No, you slide it. Um, seems to be solid floor beneath. So. Let's go. I mean, as long as we, well, we. We know how to get back in here later if we come across. If this takes us back, but, but think about town. think about how we got here. None of the things seem to want us to go back. I mean, mm. Tolgar got trapped and couldn't return. Yeah, they'll just go through. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold hands. Come on. Well, I'm only going through if we hold hands, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's about only there's only really room for one of you to step through at a time. Maybe the two but what skinniest. If we're and... cha- what if we're all holding linked? <coughs> you could all, all go through and... like as a chain. Yeah. yeah. You could do that. Let's try that. <laughs> Tol- Tolar will uh, be in the Maybe, front. I mean, Emlyn and Thelonious might be able to go shoulder to shoulder and go through by themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to put my clawed hands on Thelonious' shoulder like a buddy buddy because that won't creep him out at all. Just a dead, <laughs> embalmed creature. I just imagine you with just long fingernails, though. Yeah. Well, he does like, have long fingernails. He has huge, big talons. He basically like, has huge, girly, big, spiky talons. Like painted purple. <laughs> really nice gloss. Well, all right. If, if you think about it, guys, before you go through Togar. Oh, what? It would make sense that this would be a two-way contraption. Because... Right. Why Why would the wizard want to come the way we came? Ever. Correct. Correct. I'm sure you're right. But if that were the case, why would the wizard have that way in at all? Because he couldn't not have a door there, because that's the way the house was built. I don't know. Or, or for <laughs> for vandals and burglars, you know? Protect his stash. He just established his own pocket dimension somewhere or something. I don't know how to work. I'm just <laughs> here. Pocket dimension. 
I'm just gonna walk right into it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So you are the first one to hit it then. Uh -oh. Um. So you take us. How are you going through? Kind of explain to me. Narrate how you approach the door and how you walk through it. Um. I kind of covered my head like this because of what I had just said, and I was done with the conversation, and then I walked in. Okay. So no extended <laughs> hand first. Just walk. No. I just walked in. Oh, God. Okay, whole so the second Kyla hits it, her hair goes and stands on end. Um, you see her entire body shake and convulse. <laughs> and then oh she kind of sort of looks almost like she just imploded into the hole. Like, oh. it didn't look pleasant. I'm dead. <laughs> well, it, let's put it this way. If you are, you wouldn't know. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah. So then who am I role playing as? Should I just turn my camera off? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kyla is, as far as the rest of you are concerned, no longer here. She just go. Okay. Well, for for safety's sake, to I, I go and run and grab a handful of dirt and then I run through the portal <laughs> like run through okay so you basically see Tolgar like slam into the thing and again you see him hover there for about a second and a half as he's and disappears through oh that's the last thing Tolgar living people first uh, thank you um, all right, I'll just kind of waddle up there and head on in. All right. Um, We're all just killing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag lemmings. That's, um, <laughs> that's, that is one way to end a campaign. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> um, if you'd have opened the chest, it would have said clearly, do not Don't. go through my barrier of destruction. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, um, he disappears also. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, I'm dead. And I'm just gonna walk what in. What do I care? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, I really wish it was 10.30, because I'd just love to stop it right here. <laughs> I mean, we could waffle on for 20 minutes. So, um, no, because it's gonna be more fun to let you know what is on the other side. A whole bunch of bad people that are gonna kill us. Be like, ten, oh. ten of those stone demons. What if we're just like in other, in we're like just paradise. in town. We're just Back in town. town. Oh, what if it's just like a sweet island? Like a little, oh, yeah, yeah, it's like a little just beach. Relax in the sun. <laughs> or we're yeah. in the tower. We're in the tower. And, and DeWint, DeWint see, is there like, hey. All of a sudden up? you see a beach chair and you see DeWint turn and raise his sunglasses up with the white on his nose of the sunscreen. <laughs> so we like, can't oh, you guys, keep this up. We can't keep this up for like 20 minutes if you want. And he a takes a sip of his, <laughs> of his pina colada. Weakened at the winds, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. They went to fake the whole thing like he's still alive to get his treasure. <laughs> oh, my God. The Golden Realm? This music sounds like the Golden Realm. Did we just get to the halfway point of Link to the Past? Like, Oh, my God. It's, it's beautiful. The like, I told guys. you. Where's the, where's the witness beach chair? He's around so, here somewhere, guys. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Um, you emerge on the other side of the strange glowing oh, portal. Damn. And the first thing that you see is your eyes are assailed with scintillating colors. Like everything seems to be in glorious technicolor. It is incredibly over the top, incredibly vibrant. There are sweet, sickly smells wafting on the air. Uh, you can hear almost as the flowers and the mushrooms and the toadstools begin to like are slowly moving. You can almost hear them. Um, every time a like a flower petal blows off on the wind, you almost hear like a like a little tingling sound. <laughs> um, the entire place is just senses alive um your vision your hearing your smell even the taste there's this sweet kind of strange almost seductive taste in the air are we in the Feywilds? <laughs> okay um no sooner have you come to assess this 
that from the top a small hill over here, you see an individual. Um, he has the legs of what might be considered a goat or something. Oh, God, we are. Um, yes. He has two small horns. He is holding a whip. Um, as he runs and clip, 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 gets to the top of oh the God. small bluff, he looks behind him and says, Mister. She went this way! She went this way! Um, and shortly afterwards, <laughs> busting out of the trees, you see a group of these little creatures. Um, they're humanoid size. They're about medium size. Um, seems to be like a small cluster of them. Oh, I just accidentally deleted one. Do we eat those? Uh, no. <laughs> so, what do you say we go home now? Oh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, hell! Right. Okay, um... Are you, so you're gonna hail them? Well, they're headed toward us. Might as well. Okay. Well, <laughs> they were saying she went this way, right? They were. That's not um, us. Oh. Um... So yeah, you, you yell hail, um, they all stop, prick their heads up, and look around, and then glance down in your direction. Who's she? We can help. <sighs> Alrighty. Oh god, if you wouldn't mind standing in front of me. <sighs> okay, um... Quite they kind of, of like muscles. twist their heads sideways <laughs> to the left, to the right, as they try to fathom who and what you are. One of them looks back and says, I th think they're human. Yes. Here? Humans? Really? Oh, um, the tree. She's in the tree. Uh, and with that, they seem to completely ignore the fact that you're there. Chop it down! Chop it down! Um, as the one with the black hair says. Um, and with that, this one with the axe <laughs> rushes forward to the base of the tree and begins to hack at it. I'm going to go see if I can help chop this tree down. I just start walking over there. Oh, Togar, Togar. Wait, oh, wait. What? Just, just watch. See what they do. All right. I want to gain their trust. Okay, you hear them, one of them sings this, Come out of there! We know you're in there! Come out at once! What if she went in the water instead? Right, as they continue... <laughs> <laughs> as they do so, you can hear... Oh! Ah! E! <laughs> as if the tree itself is wincing in pain with every chop. Oh. <laughs> Can I go cut it down now? Not it looks like fun. It makes a noise. Okay. As you all continue to stand there, they, they kind of keep watching you and looking at you. The one with the black hair looks to the one to his left and he goes... Uh... And he turns his back to you and you see him like fumbling around in front of him. I'm going to spread out. <laughs> okay. Um, with I'm that, suddenly the air is assailed with melodious pipe music. Uh... <laughs> As the gentlest of lullabies is played. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. You guys oh are going to make a saving throw. <laughs> Wisdom. Charisma. Wisdom. What is this? How about strength? <laughs> Uh, Can it be strength? Yes, strength is what I would use to shrug off the <laughs> magical music. No, no, um, wisdom will be quite a, quite sufficient. All right. Uh, oh, oh no. no! We both lose. Seven for Kyla, eight, five for Tolgar. Are you at six me? for Snugs? Oh. Do I on, really have to roll on, if it like puts me to sleep or something, right? Like mind affecting. Can you sleep? Yeah, mind okay. affecting doesn't affect me, but I'll roll anyway for another twenty. Aww. Oh. All right. Okay. Um. So Kyla, Tolgar, Thelonious. Mm. Um. You suddenly feel. Eh, 
incredibly sleepy and the grass looks so soft. <laughs> I think I'll just... <laughs> um, Emlyn, no, you're not affected at all. Um, but you literally watch the other three just curl up on the floor, nestle down, and go to sleep. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice, actually. So, how, how, how long were we down there rummaging through that stuff? I mean, because you said a half hour for the first part. Uh, 45 others. minutes, maybe. <sighs> so, it wouldn't qualify as a short rest? Uh, I would say not. And you weren't resting either. Everybody was very active. Yeah, but light light activity, you know, not that. Eh, maybe. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, see, I don't want to pretend to go to sleep because then they'll just look at me and be like, "Well, he's dead," and that won't do any good. <laughs> um, so I am going to use my um, tiefling ability to cast darkness. On all of us. <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, basically, that gives you a 15-foot radius. Uh, let me check to make sure the map scaling is correct on here, because quite honestly, I don't think I said it. Uh, but I can very quickly. Um, the... It's about right. Okay, um, so you're going to cast 15 foot from the center? Yeah. All right. I don't want to square. Let's see. I think it's... No, it's not it. There we go. Oh, now I got a square as well. <laughs> I hate these tools. Um, all right, okay. Decent composition. Okay, so basically, you create a circle of magical darkness, um, and with that, you literally hear the chopping. Poof, poof, Well, I can see too, so... Um, they have stopped chopping and they're all now... They've all kind of taken a step back and um, are taking a look at exactly what is going on over there. I'm going to spend this initial round going to Thelonious and, you know, if I can, and just trying to rouse him. You know, like, kind of smack his face a little bit. Not okay. nicely. Um, but just... Then that will wake Thelonious up. Now you basically you spend your action um, vigorously attempting to wake him. He is awake. Wake up, you fool, old man. We can't. You're muted. You're muted in my darkness. That, why can't I see anything? <laughs> I cast darkness. Cause <coughs> they did they put? Did they? Did they put me to sleep? Very much so. Okay. Um, with that, uh, you can see. So you are. You see them. The one with the black hair go. And as so soon as I, he does that, they okay. all begin to scatter around. So that's what they're doing while you're waking Thelonious. So I'm. I'm gonna basically grab Thelonious on the arm and move him to the other side of me and say, "Kyla and Tolga are over there. Wake him." Um. All right. So I'll move over to here and I'll just kind of start like... Trip on me. Yeah, just kind of like <clears throat> almost getting down on my hands and knees and crawling. Okay. Trying to feel out for something. Someone All right, so you feel oh, out. You got find, something. Yeah, you find a Kyla. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'll kind of rouse her. All right, what are well. you doing, Emily, in that round? Uh, I'm going to be looking at each as they approach. And I'm basically going to say, surround this darkness and you will die. I'm going to just say it in common to see if they Jeez, respond. He's not friendly, are you? Okay. Do they stop or are they Oh, still... absolutely not. Um... So, so then the following round, I will shoot one of them with my... Uh... Right. Yeah, I mean, basically, they're, what they do is they continue to move. Um, the one with the black hair says, 
He will love to meet you. Oh, yes. He will love to meet you. Is this the wizard? Okay. Um, so that was the first... That was that round. So Kyla is now awake. Um, you said this round you wanted to shoot one of them. Yeah. Um, all right. Pick a target. I'm going to do this one over here. Because he seems like a logical target. <laughs> and he's not the leader, right? So... I'm gonna blast uh, him no, twice. that would be the leader. Um, <laughs> the one with no, the no, hair. this guy right here. The, not the. Oh, player. okay, not this one yeah. at the back. This one, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So you blast out with your force. Um. That will be a total of twenty-three points of damage. Okay. I have a real dumb idea in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to make a death roll. <coughs> Okie dokie. Um, All right. Uh, roll an additional d6. All right. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right. So um, the spell leaves your hands with a surprising jolt, um, and you feel like static discharge, like charge up your ha up your arms as you let it go. Um, it seems to have a lot more potency than you you're used to. Um, it blasts into the creature, um, and you see the thing go nah! as it flies backwards into the trees. And is laying down on the ground oh. a singed Ooh. and burnt corpse. Oh, what a way to start conversation. All right. I mean, you did tell him that was going to happen. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that seems completely fair. <laughs> um, upon... Seeing that, of course, you can still see them. Um, this one dives into the water. You see him literally leap. <laughs> this one dives into the water off the cliff. <laughs> this one dives into the bushes up here. Um, this one basically turns and he is going to bolt into the bushes and the trees on that side. So literally, as soon as the first one gets blast, this round they are all scattering. Um, so while Emlyn is blasting one of them, um, uh, what's Theo and Kyla doing? Um, it depends, uh, is, does the door make any sound, like the gateway back? Uh, that, I that mean, there's gateway. a crackling energy, like a crackling energy sound from it, yeah. Like a yeah, test. So yeah, I'd be, I'd be like, kind of daring to and crawling over to it. And <laughs> like, Alright, so you're going to try to crawl in the direction of that. What about you, Thelonious? Uh, I'm going to keep like going around the ground looking for Tolgar to okay. try to wake him up um, as well. So you're going to basically find Tolgar and wake him this turn. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's what everybody does that round. Yes. Um, and I'll, of course, tell him the situation. Like, you were, you go, you know, you were put to sleep. There's people around us. You can't see darkness, blah, blah, blah. Just fill them in. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so, uh, next round, basically, you can't see most of them, but Emily, you see two of them climbing out from the water. I On the other gonna, side. I am not going to shoot. I'm just going to watch them as they retreat, apparently. Maybe move to a better location so I can see what the, where they go. Okay. Um, Alright. Um, Thelonious? Um... I am, I think, just kind of going to stay 
put. I mean, is if uh, I'd probably search around to try because we can't see inside the circle, right, Emily? Or we can? No, no. no. Okay, I, it's I didn't black. Know. It's pitch. Uh, literally, okay. you can see nothing. It's pitch black. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure I, I couldn't yeah. see when other people couldn't. So I'll probably just look around for a tree or something. Um, that's what I would do. To yeah, try I mean, you can definitely feel something. like a large tree type thing to your immediate left. Yeah, I would just kind of get on it and just kind of push myself up against it. Okay. Um, um, so, really Kyla, doing... you're wandering forward as you're getting closer and closer. You can hear that from the... Uh, and you know, you can feel like as your hair starts to pull towards it that you must be incredibly close. You can feel the static charge. I'm just at that point going to call back like, I don't know about you guys, but this seems like an adventure for another day. I have a deal to finish with the uh, with the clergy back home. Wait. Why? Um, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. But <laughs> we might have answers here. Where am need. I? Okay, but oh. I don't want this to happen for another, I don't know, at least 30 years. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to wait another couple of rounds to see if they retreat further or what. Okay. Like, What's everybody else doing? Crawling. Evelyn's waiting, despite what Kyla says. Anybody else? I just start crawling in any direction. Oh, uh, go then. Crawl. Show me where you're crawling. Pick one. All right, so you crawl out, and basically as you come out what of the pitch the? black, you're right on the verge of a large, incredibly vibrantly blue pool of water. Oh. Do I see these guys running or standing? Um, by there? now, no. By the time okay. you come out, they'll be hightailed it into the trees. I can see again. Come out. So, so with that, I will dispel the darkness. Let it drop. <laughs> What did you do, Emlyn? I blasted one of them. Why? Because I said I would. Right, from the oh. trees up here, you hear a voice <laughs> yelling. Trellis! Trellis! Where are you? Oh, they're going to pay. They're going to pay when he finds them. The old one will not die tomorrow alone. Oh, they got him. Change of plans. Okay, fine. I'll just find <laughs> another miracle. <laughs> Which one do you think they mean, Kyla? The wizard. Which one? The, the one that escaped here from the fire, not Porthan, who probably set it. But maybe DeWint would have some use for something here. You know, in which case, let's make sure they do the job right. I mean, after right. all, Thelonious. Th Thelonious. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you thought I was waiting. <laughs> when when I blasted that one, he was. Well, I felt power coming from me that was a little bit more than I expected. And that happens when you're not uh, too adept at using magic. <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just uh, gonna. I'm gonna stare at him and be like, "Be that as it may, if you want to test that theory." Yeah, absolutely. Now, I mean, we'll... I don't we need to move. I, I don't we need to get see... out of this area fast. Wait, uh, did, did, did they leave? I, I heard them screaming. They all, they all ran off. Are we yeah, staying here? Or are we going to go sleep in an inn where we can rest and be happy and talk to a woman who can't speak at all? Good food. Nice rest. How do we get back there? More powerful spells. Well, I mean, I can just walk through the door, but it seems we can just lift the door, can't we? When we both go at it. What about the other door? That's what I mean. 
the other ones been when I tried. <laughs> yes, what about the yes, the, the toll guard door, as it were? <laughs> I'm going to very blatantly state this. I have a very personal reason to be leaving right now. <laughs> but how are you going to get back? Like, you see what I mean? The, the door that for the ribbon room is shut and we could I'll... not figure a way to get it open. Maybe I'll go get a file and cut through the bars. I don't know. But at any rate, the security on the door doesn't matter anymore and damaging it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, would it? I just don't know how long it would take you to file through iron bars. Oh, steel Kyla. bars. Steel bars. <laughs> steel bars. <clears throat> Kyla, why don't you want to be here? Because I'm old. Well, you're not that old. You look great to me. Your hips are even you wider. You got wider. <laughs> you definitely got wider. Yeah, thanks, Tolgar. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Um, I would welcome you into my tribe at this point. I'll keep that in mind for when I want to be at this point. Sometimes As... age just creeps up on you. It is the way of things. You blink and here we are, 75. Oh. And sometimes you're promised payment for doing something and you do something and you really want the payment. I'm just going to... I'm going to leave you because I don't care about living problems being old. <laughs> I'm just going to go to this, this tree that they were chopping down and I'm just going to say, you're safe now. I'm going to point my bow at Emlyn. Think about it. And then put it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, emerging out of the tree um, comes a completely naked, but with hair that is long and green, that looks like grass that actually has growing flowers on it. Sort of person that would blend in incredibly well wow. with these sort of trees um, is this strange looking nymph. As she kind of like steps out, she's got piercing blue eyes, like very, very light blue with very, very sharp central points. And she almost moves like in very sudden movements, almost like a bird. And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, in Sylvan. So uh, if you speak Sylvan, you understand it. If you do not. You do not. Anybody speak Sylvan? No. Nay. <coughs> well, I mean, the second she starts speaking and I don't understand it, I'm going to use my comprehend language as spell. Right, but Purpose. initially, nobody... But initially, okay. no. So, yes, she says something in a language that none of you understand. Eta tetena a? I'm going to look at everybody and shrug. Anybody understand that? Me? No. 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 So I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages on right, myself. The second you begin to cast, she freaks and <laughs> disappears back into the tree, like in utter terror. Emily, what did you do? Don't do um, that. <coughs> so, okay. so I get I get the spell off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, It doesn't stop you doing the spell, but it just freaked her out to no end. As soon as you started muttering arcane words and using your material components and beginning your semantics. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold my hand, my, my talon hands out and be like, that was just so we could communicate. I'm saying that in common. Even though it doesn't speak common. Um, uh, from inside the tree, you kind of see a, a face <laughs> kind of appear out of the bark. And it kind of glances around. A woman from Pocahontas. <laughs> you will understand. <laughs> As your speaking spell, you will Have you ever heard <laughs> 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 uh, Paint with all the, the colors of the wind. Um, oh, yeah, see, so she kind of looks out and then emerges back inside her. the tree. 
I don't think she understands me. And this is pretty good a stopping point as ever, I reckon. <laughs> so we will wrap it up there for I'm this evening. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. There we go. So, yeah, that will bring us to a good stopping point for tonight. Um, if you have any questions, now would be a fairly good chance to ask them. But before you do, um, I would like to play something for you. Um, seeing as it is Christmas. Um, Christmas boy? <laughs> funny you Christmas should say boy. that. Um no, uh, we were not going to do Christmas Boy again. If they didn't catch it the first time, if they weren't here to catch Christmas Boy, <laughs> they good. don't get Christmas, Christmas Boy. Christmas Boy. They don't get Christmas Boy. Playing? Christmas Boy is one of those things. It, Christmas Boy is like Ve It's kind of like um, you know, Vegas. What's what you you know girl, what what happens girl, in Vegas stays in Vegas. Bug. I think Boy, it's really all over like Twitter Christmas. now. <laughs> what they can have instead is a Christmas present from Harry Roll. Uh, which would be this um, little Christmas ditty. We don't get to say it, play it very often, but now is the perfect time. This is a Christmas PSA. Hi. My name is Keeliana, and I... What was it? I am an elf. I am an elf. This holiday season is important to note the difference between a Christmas elf and a high elf such as myself. Number one, Christmas elves are short in stature but large in heart. Number three, Chris Christmas elves are f***ing f***ies. Orc nights roasting on an open fire. Number seven. Christmas elves are not real elves. They're f***ing gnomes. Refill? Re refill? Please. Ooh, where's Santa? Did you make all the presents for Christmas this year? I swear I'm gonna rip their f***ing throat out and feed it to my cat. Side note. Don't try to ride your cat when you're two feet tall. Cause they're just gonna run away and never come back. <laughs> Has anyone seen my cat? Cat! Cat! <laughs> I hope you all learned something very valuable tonight. And that's to stay safe, roll 20s, and have a merry Krimbus. Cheers. Also, if you see like some kind of Christmas god or spirit or whatever, just don't talk back, okay? Like, seriously, don't. It's just a bad plan in general. Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orcs Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course you can follow me on twitch.tv slash gorbad. Also guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter at How We Roll. Check out the website www.howweroll.com and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers guys! Hi, I'm the Satchmo. I speak for the trees. Thank you for watching How We Roll. If you want to see some more of me, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Satchmo. If not, I guess I'll just see you next episode. I love you. Take care. What's up, you guys? It's the Snuggler here, and I am back for my second How We Roll campaign. <laughs> I've been given some guidelines. One is to not name the character that I'm playing. This course, probably going to kill my character at some point. And two is to keep this as short as possible. Jane is just so lazy. Oh. So with that being said, so happy to be on my second campaign for How We Roll. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at MaddieSweetTweet. And that's pretty much all I use. So check you there. If not, I'm always here playing for you guys.
Shagget here. I play a character on How We Roll. I'm not going to tell you who I play because if they die, I'm going to have to redo it. I've already done it once, never again. Follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore Convos, and I'll see you guys on How We Roll. Hi, Jane here. You may have seen me in such films as Rise of the Fallen or Lyra vs. Legend. Thanks for watching! You can follow me on Twitter at Jane on Twitch. That's with a zero, not no. Anyway, I gotta go. The cats. Peace, suckers!